I gained four kilograms over the vacation. I don't have time to be making these kind of videos and watching a 30 minute video about the Renetto, talking about YouTube and community again, yet again and again. Um, I got a lot of emails saying, you know, uh, Renetto's a, um, he's, he's a train wreck. He's going down the tubes. He's, he's desperate for attention. He wants to hold on to his position. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think that's true. Now, the beauty about Renetto is, maybe if you're like me, you probably watched him. You thought, man, I could take that guy. I mean, physically, no. You probably thought, I could make videos like that. What's so special about Renetto? I don't get it. I don't get it. What's so special? See, I think, in a way, that's the answer. Renetto makes it look easy. He makes video blogging look easy. And people are interested in what he has to say. And I think that's one of his attractions. Um, a, a good blogger makes it look like you could do the same thing and kind of inspires you to get up on, get up in front of the camera and make your own video. That's one reason Renetto is good. Is Renetto a broken clock? Is he a train wreck? I don't know, but even a broken clock is right twice a day, right? Or at least once, depending on how you do the time, right? But um, Renetto has a lot of things to say that I agree with, so let's get to those. First of all, uh, let me summarize very quickly. Renetto says that YouTube gave him a very special deal when, deal when he became partnered, a deal that no one else has. They treated him very well. Okay, that seems unfair, but whatever, let's go on. He loves YouTube and he hates YouTube. He loves YouTube for what he thought YouTube would be and he hates YouTube for what YouTube has not become. This is very much like a love relationship, a romantic love relationship. When you Sometimes you love when you're with someone and you're happy and then you break up. You don't, sometimes you don't really miss the person so much as you miss what you are with that person. And, and I think YouTube has helped a lot of us feel, um, and this may, feel, may seem corny or emo or whatever you want to call it, but I think being on YouTube has helped a lot of us um, deal with many things, um, grow in many ways, um, come out of, of, of shells. There are many people on, on, this, on this site who will tell you that in real life they're very quiet or they're not very good. In fact, right, I can't even talk without a camera in my face these days. Seriously. Uh, not true, but it's kind of true. Well, anyway. The thing about me that's important, and I agree with Renato, I have a love relationship, not so much with YouTube, but with... <laughs> Well, yeah, with YouTube and with Renetto. I mean, half the time I think he's, you know, I just want to punch him out and half the time um, I want to have a beer with the guy. So, yeah, I live in Japan. I don't have much interaction anymore with uh, local foreigners because I got out of that life. I used to own two bars. I was very, very social. But as time progressed and it was time to do certain things, I decided to let go of that lifestyle. So for me, YouTube is a great way for me to speak in my native tongue with other people. English speakers around the world and still be social without being in a bar drunk and you know through beer goggles at something that the next day I'm gonna regret so, <laughs> so I, I love you too I love you too and there's something else that I agree with um, regarding Renato's uh, video is that I'm heartbroken as well I feel like YouTube is taking away a lot of my friends I don't know what's happening to them Joby Wan is one of the latest casualties he, he was suspended a few days for a copyright infringement which I just wish they could, you know, give him a second chance. I mean, why do, why do they have to ban people? Can't is it so hard to give them punishments? One month, six months, whatever, but banned? I mean, forever? I mean, it's just that's not ah, it's not nice. Maybe it's you know, it's their rules. They can do whatever they want. But come on, how hard is it to be give a guy a second chance? So I'm sad and I'm scared. Like, and I agree with Reno. A lot of us are scared. I've I don't have any money to lose in this. I mean, I'm I'm not technically uh, even eligible for partnership because I live in Japan but um, I would hate to lose my channel I put a lot of time and effort into my five channels and my 4,444 sock puppets it takes a long time to make that many sock puppets <laughs> okay seriously I, I, always, I always try to make a stupid joke sorry about that this is important this is serious yeah I put a lot of time into my channel and channels and I like I like the interaction I get. I like it when someone says, hey, that was, I learned something on your, you know, English teaching channel or, or your dog is cute. He really makes my day. You know, I got, I got a woman who watches my Give Me a Bone Dog channel because she's very <laughs> sick and Maggie cheers her up. Well, that's a great feeling for me, even though it's not me, it's a dog, but, um, I don't want to lose my channel and I am scared of pissing off YouTube. I'm tiptoeing and I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Come, I mean, come on, I'm a grown man tiptoeing because oh, I'm afraid of what to say, and I'm not free. You know, I'm not free in that I can't say whatever I want because I'm scared. I don't want to lose my channel. I don't want to piss off YouTube staff. And I, I haven't had any problems with YouTube staff personally. I think um, 
they're probably just overworked. Those poor. I mean, they're growing so quickly, and they have. They probably just need to hire some more people. I guess I don't know. Something else Renato says. He says a YouTube revolution is over, but our revolution is just beginning. Is it true or is it rhetoric? I don't know. But he is. He is hinting that he he can fix YouTube. He is hinting that he can fix YouTube, but he's not going to. He says, "Quote, I can fix it, but I'm not going to." He says, "I'm talking about a revolution, and if I'm going to lead lead an effort like that." Why give it away if we can own it? The implication being, of course, that he's going to open up a new site and you can become an owner, what part owner of that site in some way. I don't really care about being an owner, but I would like to feel, um, to go <laughs> to sleep and know that my channel is going to be there in the morning. And if there were some way I could um, guarantee that, then I'd definitely do it if it meant, personally, if it meant for me to pay a little money to make sure that I'm not going to have my channel erased, that would be great. And that meant being part owner of something, then that's what I would do. But am I ready to give up on YouTube? No, not at all. This is where you guys are. But if Renetto does open up another site, I'm, I would go. I would go and I would support him. And I, I think all of you should. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong uh, in the YouTube partnership for you partners. So there's nothing wrong that says, there's nothing that stipulates that you cannot upload to other channels. And many of you do have accounts on other channels like Live Video or Rever or other places. There was one last thing. I do get a lot of emails saying, how do I get featured and all that? A lot of it's luck, but a lot of it... I do disagree with one thing Renato does say. He says that, you know, YouTube's got to favor you. They've got to pick you out of the pile and put you on top. But it's not completely true. We can help each other. We do help each other. I know a lot of people I have helped are much bigger than me now. So, uh, and it's thanks to me. <laughs> no, there's a lot of people that I've, I've, able, I've been able to help out um, by just pointing my finger at them, saying, hey, this guy's good. Like Chan A review, that guy's amazing. He's better than everybody else. That he's Renato sub to him. Uh, Buck, the, what the Bucks were sub to him. Autumn of Full Fall of Autumn Distress sub to him. I'm sub to him. The guy's a genius animator. He he's funny and he's a musician. And I don't know why all you guys aren't sub to him. That's another example. I mean, right now, all of you should go and sub to him. That's how we can help each other by telling each other about real talent. And I'm t I'm not I'm not kidding. This guy is great. Check him out, Chan A review. That's how we help each other. That's how community works. We don't have to just depend on YouTube staff to take a liking to us, you know, or, you know, the casting couch, whatever, the, or however they do it. <laughs> but, um, so, this is my view on Renetto. Maybe he was a train wreck. Maybe he's falling apart. I don't think so. I think he's got something, something important to say, and I, I guess I'm going with it, you know. If he does make a site, I encourage you all to go over there. To follow him, follow him in the next few weeks, see what's happening. Renato, please don't be yanking our chain. <coughs> when that Perry Urban stuff came up, I thought, you know, I had to tell you, I kind of cited on his side. He sounded more logical than you did. Um, you called him childish. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to do this. You've given us some kind of hope. Um, YouTube, if you're watching, put the hope back into YouTube. Come on, for a lot of it, it's kind of getting depressing. Show a little respect to a lot of the uh, people who do make vlogs and give you guys give YouTube views. I mean, Montagraph has got almost 3 million views and he was rejected for the partnership. Dewan Peak, that guy must have, I don't know, a couple million views and he was, he was rejected? I don't get it. What's wrong with these guys? Just because they're community-minded people and not pure entertainment, not, not produce shows, doesn't mean that they, you, they can't develop into something. And giving them the partnership would be something that would encourage them, probably, to improve their material. So, I guess that's all I got to say. Um, uh, sorry this is so long. Luckily, it's not going to be 30 minutes, but thanks for watching, guys. And I do care about you guys, and I do appreciate all the interaction that comes from you in the form of comments and ratings and, and emails. I, and I try to get back to everybody. So I do care. And I think a lot of us care. I think a lot of us do care. And we're human on, uh, we're human beings on a site that's a business. So sometimes those two word, worlds will collide and not be able to communicate. But I, there are human beings in YouTube, YouTube staff. I hope one of you or some of you are, are watching and listening and thinking about us and our hearts. Don't break our hearts anymore. And Renato, do something. Do something.